All right, y'all, I have one eight ounce brick of cream cheese. I cut it into little cubes, all right? All right, next, I have one can of diced green chilies. I did not drain it. We're just gonna dump this right on top, just like so. Get all this out, all right. All right, y'all, this is gonna be so good. So amazing. All right, we have here one can of refried beans, all right? Do y'all, y'all like refried beans? I wanna know what your favorite uh, kind of refri, ref, I can't even say it. <laughs> refried beans, refried beans. Say that five times fast. Refried beans, refried, I can't, I can only do it twice, y'all. If y'all can do it more than twice, let me know. Let me know your secret. <laughs> it's like a tongue twister. Refried beans, okay, there we go. Refried beans. All right, next here, we have uh, one package of taco seasoning. You can use mild or medium or hot, whatever y'all like, all right? Just right on top. We're just gonna do it just like that. Look at that, look at that, all right. Next, we've taken about one cup of pepper jack cheese, all right? And we've taken one cup of shredded extra sharp cheddar. Cheddar makes it better, all right? Look at that. Okay, that's, yeah, that's about two cups, right? Okay, and then we also gonna take here about one cup of sour cream, right on top. Let's see, that's, no, we need a little more. All right, all right, y'all, just like that. And then we also, at this point, I forgot one thing, a little bit of green onion, okay? All right, y'all, so we're just gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes just to get these cheeses to melt, and then we have one more step. All right, y'all, so this was in the oven just about 15 minutes, so now I'm just gonna give it a mix, okay? We just wanna kinda heat everything up. So we're gonna mix this all together. Um, sour cream, cream cheese, refried beans, chilies. I forgot what else I put in here already, so we're just mixing it up. Mixy, 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 mixy. I should've got my trusty fork. Why am I using a spatula? I don't know, y'all, I don't know. I wanna lick it. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna try. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, it tastes good so far? It tastes good. I was tasting it. My husband, Fred, was just like looking at the dish. I'm like, hello. <laughs> they want to see me taste it. What are you doing down there? All right. Shoot. Usually my friend films me. My husband, Fred, I don't know. We don't always work the best together, y'all. He always tries to tell me what to do. Then I get mad. And then that's it. <laughs> all right. So once it's in a pretty flat layer that's flat enough, let's get this stuff off the edge. All right. We have one more step, y'all. This, this dip is actually real good. All right, so now we're gonna take uh, about two more cups of cheese, all right? So pepper jack, and y'all can use whatever kind of cheese you'd like. I just like, I like the blend of pepper jack and cheddar because I like a little spice, a little spice in my life. And then uh, extra sharp cheddar right on top. All right, y'all. All right, just like that. All right, y'all, so once you have the, that nice layer of cheese on top, we're gonna put this back in the oven I don't know, about 10 minutes or so till the cheese is melted. And then y'all are gonna love this delicious, easy dip. All right, y'all, so we let our cheese melt. We took our dip out of the oven. So I love making it in this foil pan because you could bring it anywhere. It's a great, everyone loves this dip anytime I make it and bring it to uh, a little gathering. So what I like to do before I finish, I like to take some black olives and I like to put these on top. And y'all, again, you could do whatever you'd like, but I love black olives. I think they're delicious. So we put a little bit of black olives right on top. All right, I also here have some uh, cut up cherry tomatoes. I put these on top as a garnish as well. I just put them right in the center. People could do whatever they'd like. And then we also have some cilantro. Here we go. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That'd be funny if I left that there, y'all. I know y'all get mad at me. Not all of y'all. A lot of y'all would think it was funny because you have good senses of humor. All right, we're just gonna put a little cilantro right on top just because it looks pretty. And I know a lot of people don't like cilantro because it tastes like soap or something, but we just put it right there and that's it. Okay, y'all, you can just go to your gathering with this little pan and you can even put the um, shredded cheese on top and then just pop it in the oven for a few minutes to melt it right before you serve it. So I have some uh, chips here. So I'm just gonna try it like this, y'all. I'm not even gonna transfer it to another bowl. Grab your favorite chips. All right, I have, I have some chips here and then um, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get like a little spoonful. From, from the edge, even though I should do it from the center. I know y'all like when I do that. So we have this delicious, easy party dip, totally customizable. I think it would be good if you added some Rotel as well, but I didn't. So I'm just gonna eat it like this, y'all. I'm so excited. I love dip. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm, mm, mm. y'all.
I mean, I knew it was going to be good because I make this all the time, but always a crowd favorite, y'all. Y'all got to try this. 